In this video, I want to discuss the standard method for dividing fractions, which is to invert and multiply. Let's think of a problem like 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds. The standard procedure is to invert the divisor, so you flip the second fraction, and multiply. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 2 is 8, so my answer here would be 9 over 8 or 1 and 1 eighth. We can also do this with something like 6 divided by 2 over 5. In this case, we would think of 6 as 6 over 1. Flip the second fraction, so 5 over 2, and multiply. 6 times 5 is 30, 1 times 2 is 2, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. In general, if we have a over b divided by c over d, this is the same thing as a over b times d over c, or a times d over b times c. So now the question is, why can we divide fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal of the divisor? Let's consider the problem, you used half a can of paint to paint three-fifths of a wall. How many cans will it take to paint the whole wall? Well, we start with the group that we have painted. We've painted three-fifths of the wall. We multiply by the number per unit, which is we don't know. And that should be equal to the total amount that we've used so far, one half. So this does correspond to one half divided by three fifths. So now let's look at why it makes sense to solve this particular problem using multiplying by the reciprocal, one half times five over three. So let's focus on the wall that we're painting. Here we have our wall. We've broken it up into five equal sections, and we've been able to paint three of our sections using half a can of paint. So these three corresponded to one half of a can. So that tells me that each one of these pieces had to use one third of half a can. So each one of these would be one over three times one half, since each one of these pieces had to use one third of the total amount that we've used, half of a can. So now one section of this wall uses one third times one half, or one sixth of a can. So we know we have five total groups. Each one of those groups is going to use one sixth of a can. So total we get five over one times one over six, which is five over six. So what we've done is we've multiplied the two on the denominator by the three that was in the numerator. And then we multiplied that by the five that was in the denominator. So multiplying a number by one third and then by five is the same thing as multiplying by five over three. So we were able to do this by multiplying by the reciprocal. This argument works for any number, so there's nothing unique about this particular problem. In general, a, divide, a over b divided by c over d is going to be the same as a over b times d over c. The idea being we take the portion that we've started with, the portion that we've used, multiply by 1 over c to get each piece, and then multiply that by d 
to get the total for all the pieces. And as we multiply this, this is the exact same thing as a times d over b times c.